What's up everybody? Today we're going to do the review of the Prodigy F5. Uh, this particular one is the four, in 400G plastic. It's max weight 175 and it has an awesome red, white, blue flip car disc golf stamp on there. Shout out to Ryan Van and flip car disc golf for all your Prodigy needs. Hit them up. So the F5, what is it? What is an F5? It's a tornado. No, not a tornado. It's a disc. It's, uh, it's in the fairway series from Prodigy. Uh, the F5 is going to be down the fairway line towards the uh, more understable side. You know, uh, the higher the number with Prodigy, usually the less stable the disc is. That's just a quick tutorial on Prodigy. So, the F5, what is it? What's it compared to? How does it fly? Well, let's watch some footage. Uh, here we are out in Daphne, Alabama. We have a really nice open hole and it really easy to film discs flying on it. So, here's the F5 just giving a nice smooth pull. And you can see, even with slight downhill, it holds true all the way down and doesn't really give me an aggressive hyzer. Uh, this next shot is extreme downhill. Uh, it's only about a 250 foot hole, but it's very downhill. Uh, I'm going to be standstill, barely throwing it, and you can see it just goes straight, 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 straight. It is effortless and it's dead straight. Let's uh, switch into a little tunnel shot. How's that? I'm going to try to show you why. I choose to go to the F5 for a tighter shot like this when it's, it's probably too much disc, but if you power it down, it'll still hold a nice, true, straight line. And that's what I'm looking for on a tight tunnel like that. So let's give it a throw. That's why I love to throw this thing. It is dead straight and it will hold whatever line I put it on. If I put it on just a little turn, it will hold it and then come out flat at the end just like you've seen. You can power that way down on it and give it a nice hyzer and let it just hold that hyzer all the way in the video you're about to see now. When I started on Trilogy, the Saint was my fairway driver. It was my go-to dead straight fairway driver. But it was a little little less stable than I wanted, and it the glide was way a lot further than it should have been. Um, I love the disc, but it would get me in trouble by going too far sometimes. That's why this disc reminds me of more of an Eagle L. For any of you that have thrown an Eagle L, uh, if you want to look at the Eagle L, uh, pick up your Eagle if you have one. If it's nice and smooth, you're gonna look. It's gonna be an eagle L. If it's kind of got a little dip in it, it's gonna be an eagle X. Is it an eagle X? Eagle X. And that'll be the more stable side of the eagles. Anyways, so back to the F5. The F5 is dead straight. It is a true fairway, in my opinion. It's the truest fairway I've ever thrown. And by what I mean by that is, let's say I would throw a mid, and I wanted something that would go just a little further than mid, but not even get close to the distance driver distance. It actually hit that gap between a distance driver and a mid. So that's what this guy does. Yes, I could rip on it and possibly make it go over 400 feet. I don't, that's not what this disc is designed to do. This disc is designed to come out your hand, go straight, finish almost dead straight, or go on any line that you want it to go on. That to me is a true fairway driver. And if there's a disc that I would recommend that you try from Prodigy first, if you've never thrown any of their fairways or any of their discs in general, pick up an F5. It's gonna do work for you. It's gonna be your go-to dead straight. You can throw it as hard as you want or you can power way down and it's still gonna have a really nice consistent flight. The plastics that it comes in, I believe it comes in just about every plastic that Prodigy makes. Uh, this particular one is a 400G plastic. The 400G is, you're going to be your, your star type plastic. Uh, maybe even close to a fusion type plastic with Trilogy. That's what this is. Uh, it also comes in their 400 series, which is your standard champion, lucid, opto type plastic. And then it also comes in the 750G, which is Prodigy's top plastic. It is amazing, probably the most amazing plastic I've ever held 
uh, it's really stiff and it just feels like a good, you know, I, it just feels really good. Uh, also comes in there more of their baseline plastic, like their 350. Uh, it's going to be more of the DX or prime plastic, uh, very budget friendly, uh, beginner friendly type plastic. Uh, good in the rain type plastic. Pro GF5, I can't say it enough, this is the disc that I'm going to be taking to Tallahassee and probably throwing the most over there. Uh, it's it's going mm, to gonna make throwing in the woods so much easier and I'll actually have a little more distance in the woods now and confidence to go with it. So that is the Pro GF5. Any questions about it? Uh, have you tried it? Uh, what do you think about it? Hit those comments down there. Uh, you guys know I love reading your comments and I reply to just about everybody that I can. If you got anybody that's interested in learning a little bit more about the F5, I know it's been out a while, but a lot of you guys uh, said that you don't know a lot about the Prodigy lineup, so I want to definitely bring it to you guys. So share the video if there's somebody that's looking for a dead straight fairway that won't go too far, but they can make it do whatever they want. Share that to them. And as always, if you liked it, hit that thumbs up. You guys are freaking awesome. You guys have been killing the channel. Uh, the giveaway details are coming out. That'll be coming out next week. Uh, thank you so, guys so much for the support. And uh, Project F5, get one of these now. You guys, take it easy.